this marriage, this town, this whole Midwestern thing about family, work, church, the simplicity of it, the quietness of it, healed me. And if you let it, it will heal you. I'm not sick, Mom. Then why are you doing this? Remember when we used to live in Chicago? You take me to lunch at the Art Institute. Saturdays. We talk about paintings, life. All the time that you had for me then, Mom. I want it to be like it used to be. I don't love you any less because I have a family to love now. I wish you could realize that and reach out to people yourself. You don't have to be an only child to be loved. I have plenty to go around. Will you go back to school and try for me? No. Do you want to go to a military school? Scott? All right, I'll go to school here. Just leave me alone. The stock market's closed. What does that matter now? Eric has to do a dance at school. Shelby, where are your glasses? Why aren't you dressed for dinner? What's going on around here? I am dressed for dinner, see? Go to your room. The ultimate weapon. If you only knew what we did in our rooms, it's really perverse. Shelby! Don't raise your voice, Mother. They'll throw you out of Junior League. I should go back to school or to work or something. Maybe then you'd value me. I value you. Anne's children value her. She's not there all day, every day. They do their own beds, their own laundry, their own homework. Everybody values each other because she works. And they're happy and well-adjusted, polite, independent. Scott's cut school for three weeks. Daly's went to see the principal today, if that makes you feel any better. Oh, dear. Hi, Anne. Shelby just told me about Scott. Is there anything I can do? You okay? Okay. Well, call me if you need me. if Scott were one of my children. Are we looking at houses again? Not really. Another growth experience? Oh, it's way beyond our price range. I just thought I'd have a look. Did you see it? Yeah. With Joanne? No. Who? Why am I getting the third degree? Can I tell you to go to your room? Hang in there, Mom. Male or female? Male. It's interesting to me that with all the women selling real estate in this town, you always went a man. Odd, isn't it? But it's not what you're thinking. Listen, don't do this to me, Nancy. You've got a beautiful house and beautiful kids, and you've got a closet full of tennis rackets. And I spent half my life trying to be for her. What do you want from me? A relationship. Oh, 15 years of marriage doesn't constitute a relationship? What I meant. Yeah. Well, I gotta go to the hospital. A couple of people in intensive care. I need to talk to you. We talk. We're talking right now, aren't we? Like strangers. Like enemies. Do you want a divorce? Is that it? 
Nancy, don't be absurd. You know, I'm trying to teach the kids to uh, recycle things. To fix things, not just to throw things away if they don't work. What does that have to do with anything? Our marriage doesn't seem to be working, Art. I want to try and fix it. I'm not a disposable wife. I... At least I don't want to be a disposable wife. But you have to want to fix it, too. You know, all you ever do to all of us is criticize. I don't even think you realize it. You're heading vaguely in the direction of toothbrushes in bed. Good. Scott say? He said that he wanted me all to himself. What did you say? I told him that if he didn't straighten out, we'd send him to a military school. Oh, no. Honey, no. You mustn't threaten him. He needs unconditional love, the safety of it. Well, at least he said he'd go to school. Promised. He just needs time to heal. Us to love him without passing judgment every time he sneezes. I'll talk to him. Would you mind if I went to practice the organ? Go. You know, I love being married to you. I feel like I used to feel about Santa Claus. I'm that I'm overweight. No. That everything's gonna work out all right. That there really is a happy ever after. That I don't have to go out and single-handedly turn the world around. And if I stumble, you're gonna catch me. That's the same way I feel about you. What happens if we trip at the same time? Curtains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> will be home when daddy wants to be home. That's his prerogative. I love those magazine rules. He's at the hospital, Sheldon. Working. The advantages of tunnel vision. Don't get smart with me, young lady. I wasn't. Do you still love him, Mom? I'm well, sure I do. Why? Because I do. We grew up in love. You grew up working to put him through med school. Well, growing up means you have to make a few compromises. For everybody. Except Daddy. No, well, for Daddy most of all. You know, he wanted to be an entertainer and... and he gave that up and... became a doctor so we could have some security. Our marriage meant more to us than our separate dreams. Men? Past tense? Michelle, you know how I feel about trying to fix things. Yes, Virginia, the last of the romantics is alive and well and living in Iowa. <laughs> Virginia, and she's taking you to bed. Oh, come on, kid. Come on, Doug. That was so big. 